Moments with Chris and Dave. She's Chris. He's Dave. Thanks. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> we are here at our exclusive premiere of Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. We have the theater to ourselves. Well, almost did. Till now. Our semi exclusive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I can't eat the whole bucket, so I always bring a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Three hours later. Hi, so Chris and I got a chance to go see Ant-Man Quantumania, and it was, it's official releases tomorrow on the 17th, but for some reason we got to see it today. Not not complaining at all. So if you're looking for spoilers or anything, you're not going to get any. I'm sorry. I've only given you one tiny little hint already and that's all that's all i'm gonna say so just want to say the movie was good it was very good actually um i know disney movies lately have been getting this reputation about them and i'm glad to say that things are heading back to the way they used to be there are some movies you need to see before you watch this movie though <laughs> speaking of which Here's Loki. Just to remind us that, hey Loki, one of the things you definitely need to see on Disney Plus is Loki before you, before you watch this movie. All right, that's enough. You need to go now. Hold on a second. Where was I? Okay, there's a few movies you need to watch before you see Ant Man. Quantumania, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I'm sorry, Quantumania. First one would be, of course, the original Ant-Man movie, followed by Captain America Civil War, then Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, Avengers Endgame, and finally, um, definitely, definitely, definitely watch Loki on Disney Plus the whole season. I was going to suggest just the last episode, episode 6, but you already get more out of it if you watch the whole season. So, anyways, um, it was good. <laughs> I I probably, I probably try not to look at the spoilers and opinions of people before the movie start because it ruins it for you. Um, I was glad to see Bill Murray <laughs> in the movie. It was kind of unexpected, but he was there. I'm not going to tell you what role or whatever, but anyway, it's good to see um, Modoc. <laughs> now, I did read a little one crit critic's comment on Modoc, and I did not tell Chris, but she agreed. She's she actually came out and said it herself, and I'm not going to tell you what she said, but yeah, Modoc did kind of remind her of someone else. And maybe you'll figure it out too if you watch it. Definitely go see it. Worth the watch. Okay. So, but don't go until you've seen, unless you've seen Loki and you already know what the story about Ant Man and all. A lot of references to the previous movies, but Loki is a must. So, if you get a chance, go see it. If you're gonna wait till it comes on TV, that's fine too. But oh, we should have gone and seen it in 3D. We really should have. Uh, nor normally we do, but uh, the last one, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, it we saw it in 3D, but some of the effects just seemed a little off, and there was m one part in the wedding scene that seemed off to me that I didn't care for. It just wasn't all there, but this one, 
definitely watch it in 3D. We saw it in 2D, and um, I regret not seeing it in 3D. Also, one last thing I forgot. There are two after credit scenes. Watch them both. And especially, I can't overemphasize, watch Loki Season 1. Very good. Oh, nothing. Aww. How many tries do you get? One. <laughs>